Good day, gamers. My name's Sam Azard. So recently I started playing and streaming Genshin Impact. And lately I've had a lot of people recommending that I should check out Maxer's video. Is it Maxor or Maxer? Either way, he did a really funny and really relatable video on his experience with Genshin Impact. And my people wanted me to watch and do a little reaction for it. So that's what this is gonna be. If you guys like the video, thumbs up. I'm linking his original video down in the description below so you can go check that out and show him some love as well. Let's check it out. Genshin Impact is a game which has sucked away my soul and killed my dog. I first began playing Genshin Impact because of all the cute women. Then experienced apotheosis and a philosophical enlightenment through it's the of my own ego. I love Genshin Impact, but this game will have an impact on your social life. And even after you stop playing, you will not recover. To this day, it has left me in a perpetual state of sophisticated molding, and I recommend it for all the wrong reasons. In this game, you play as John Impact, an extra-dimensional being whose brother was eaten by Mega Bloks and is forced to navigate Avatar The Last Airbender oh for Ryu. Powered by its simple <laughs> chemistry system in which characters electrocute, burn, and throw rocks at each other. One of those is much less cool, but it, like Austral Epidemic, <laughs> violence, is violence. source of damage. Now trapped in the land of Gotcha Hell, our protagonist must find a way to save our siblings by fighting geometry, the indigenous inhabitants of Twitter, space midgets, and the ice KGB. As well, we are here to explore, <laughs> solve puzzles, play prop hunt, cook, Get arrested for looking at Zhongling too much. Get sentenced to 10 years and emerge from prison a devout Buddhist. This video is going to be about my experience playing this interesting game and how to objectively have the most fun with it. It's a very bad sign when most people who play the game don't recommend it, but I do. Although I am slightly a dingus, so I don't recommend you take my opinion as fact, but as entertainment. So whether you're new to the strange otherworldly Chinese software or Genshin Pro, please allow me to tell you the tale of how this left a Genshin impact into my frontal lobe. Oh man. That that all of that in a minute and 35 seconds. I like Zhongling impact in my right gamers. Here's a fun tip that most Genshin players don't know. The age of consent is 18 years old. <laughs> Let's begin with what's maximally important. Not the gameplay, not the story, nor anything. Hey, pro tip. It depends on the country. Philippines is only 14. Kind of fact up, but uh, that's that's the law. You would typically associate with a video game. Yeah. The single most important thing in this game is rolling dice to gain attractive people and then parading them around like a child on TLC. I do not exaggerate when I say this is probably what attracted most people to this game. If you want an example, Lisa is a character who continually refers to herself Anna? as Onesama and sounds like she is at all times on the verge of sex. <laughs> I received her after completing a quest and then decided that I would use Lisa exclusively to do rock climbing. That way, I could repeatedly hear her oddly enthusiastic moaning for the next 10 hours of gameplay. I literally installed this game after downloading 60 images of Ganyu, since the official lore of the game specifies that she killed a monster after being eaten by it because her ass was so big it blocked his trachea and suffocated him to death. However, there is a catch. I don't have Ganyu, and oh. I never will. You have a random chance to get characters, and that chance isn't high. 5.1% to be exact and that's getting anyone so if you want a particular character get fucked you could have your very first role be a high level dps character that carries you through the game with chimpanzee martial arts or you could roll three useless small boys in a row and then <laughs> use the them. small boys <laughs> it's a fucking guy god damn it Fuck. and while i'm writing about bad things that could be deal breakers the that's 100 percent me it's a guy god cheat for this game is very strong and has ring zero permissions on your kernel. This means that it can read and write memory at any location in your computer without seg faulting. I, however, am not afraid since if Xi Jinping does harvest my computer's data, all he will find is 50 pages of Waluigi Hentai. It's your loss. And yes, it does turn off when the game isn't running. So this review is going to include a guide on how to have fun because like real life, lusting after women causes suicidal depression. Step one, True. play as optimally as you want. Do not try to min-max shit because RNG Jesus will snap your fucking neck. Do whatever is fun also with true. whatever you have. In my case, I decided that I would roleplay as a violent misandrist and only play as women out of principle. Any men that I rolled would be locked at level one and made useful in the coal mines. <laughs> it is simply not worth it for me to engage in combat if I cannot also yank it. The second <laughs> point of the characters is that they are potential wives and I am absolutely, definitely, 1000% secure in my masculinity. Playing the game optimally in this case would mean making the game boring and staring at man ass, so fuck it. If, for instance, I had won 
wanted a particular legally questionable female to be my digital puppet, the chance of me receiving that would be 0.3%, which is where <laughs> this image comes from. Take what you can get with the rolls. Don't be mad. Exercise patience and control, and you will have. This a poor lot guy of loves fun. Ganyu so much. Have not sold my house to get big titty pirate mommy, but Max or I hear your thoughts. Why are you displaying a single image of a regular crab on my screen? Big titty and pirate also, mommy. What is the world of Genshin Impact, and why are we here? That is a great question, James. Because before we get into the exploration and the combat, we must first understand the context with which I run my beauty pageant. And <laughs> How many times is he gonna show Asian Venti getting kicked? Channel, the lore is some hyperborean yeah. bullshit. So let's say rule number two of enjoying the game is not caring about this, just like 90% of the player base. <laughs> no, no ads, come on. We were really interrupted by an ad. And honestly, I could, I kind of needed the. We're only four minutes in, about five minutes in. Wow, this is a lot to take in. Anyways, the world of Tevat is ruled collectively by seven gods who govern the seven elements. Except the nature god, he's special. This came about because <laughs> 2,800 years ago, there were like 80 gods or something. Then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. No, but actually seven seals opened up in heaven, so literally every god fought over their power to the death. The result was the seven gods of each element we see today, each ruling over their Except own for in their own fucked up ways. Every once also in a while, true. these delusional bastards will just give random people superpowers, like how the electricity god just gave a girl with a mental disorder a talking bird. This also <laughs> includes small children who could very possibly kill themselves for some reason. Now, the world you see in game takes place in two nations or three if you're from the future. The first is Mondstadt, a lawless <laughs> or three if you're from the future, <laughs> which has no formal governance of any kind. They instead rely institutionally on vigilante justice, including a hot Batman. As Hell result, yeah! The entire territory of their nation is real hot Batman. Wolves. No one has the systemic authority to stop people from. From exercising their rights and liberties to feed the wolves babies oh also there's the fucking dragon problem did i not mention yeah. the murderous dragon that is a problem the too nation of liyue an extremely rich and powerful country to the east they have recently come into conflict with monstad due to the luhua <laughs> pool massacre of 69 as well as an aggressive hey! policy involving a nine dashed line in the sea of clouds headed by the tian Xuan ningguang of the liyue qi xing those are all real names <laughs> liyue exists an unprecedented level of prosperity and control Troll, living happily under the watchful eye of the rock god who periodically disguises himself to ensure that the populace is behaving well and upholding their state contracts just in case i'm glad i didn't watch this before completing zhongli's archon quest because i predicted it but i didn't know it and i would have known it now now, China, I know you're new to making video games, yet in my country, we have a long history of shooting people. But who lives in Li Wei and who lives in Wei Rezin? The answer is unfortunate. Populating this extensive world will be several factions of enemies with subgroups, elemental specializations, and fucking bullshit. The enemy variety of this game paints a picture of a post-apocalyptic nightmare world where raving bands of savages constantly destroy everything. Locking I, humanity in a I feel like I've played of enough of this game of for a lot of this to One hit home is the Hillichers, an intelligent race capable of empathy and complex thoughts, which is why they must be destroyed. These guys make the Gombe chimpanzee war look like a fucking joke, and at no point does anyone in the entire game even give a shred of sympathy for the Hillichers, except for there Elon goes the Musk, silly Hilly Churl. Gorilla, small monkey, operate complex machinery and have their own language. This makes it more fun to slaughter entire villages of them and steal their possessions with no consequences. In fact, you're encouraged to do it. Overall, I would rate them a genocide out of 10. Next Jesus are Christ. Country sized hordes of organized bandits called the treasure hoarders who are just regular guys forced to fight you with shovels and Molotov cocktails. Are you sure we're the good guys? It's fortunate that are because sure they the good crime, guys? their lives are now forfeit. Abyss mages are very simple because they are one enemy with two reskins who are also inhuman <laughs> beings of the dark void who have sworn vengeance upon humanity itself. They also dwell almost entirely Damn. in fucking space. The... Fatui of Snezhnaya are heavily armed diplomats seeking to there goes getting the kicked again man subterfuge and employing nine foot tall people with hammers is absolutely conducive to this goal i promise they are unique among Tevat because they serve the interests of the zaritza of snezhnaya also known as the god of ice that's important because it's very weird that they primarily oh use god. electricity and fire i guess the ice god is just fucking lazy the fatui are always up to no good like stealing the wind Poor god's Venti. power or like a bank heist They're poor venti really hot so i'm not 
stopping them. Finally, we have the local wildlife of Tevat, which is 90% slimes and 10% these fuckers. I, I hate those things, man. Do something. Computer deactivate iguana. Ah! That's really what the combat is all about. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, holy fuck, that is all Yeah. Wild. And other times it's like, I think that bush just fucking really, no matter what happens, <laughs> you're in for an experience. Let's find out if that's bad or worse. Yo, that child fight was boss as fact, though. Shit getting intact is a game about flow, where to maximize their power, the player dynamically switches between their DPS character and everyone else. Rule number three of Genshin Impact, pick one. Your typical team is comprised of your DPS. Wait, I just we had a little pop-up ad. I'm gonna have to, if I'm gonna be reacting to videos this long, I'm gonna have to get YouTube Premium. Nah, I'm just kidding. PS baby, your heal support, your burst support, and moral support. Think of it like a train. You only need one engine and enough weight to kill Terry Davis. Now, like everything, characters have elemental alignments, which, depending on the enemy, can ruin the game. My wife <laughs> could heal me, but in the process, must make everyone wet, which makes us a proverbial bathtub, which enemies will then catapult toasters into for massive damage. It's a fucking blast. You feel like a chemistry professor gone rogue, using the elements to That, that Barbara bit hits way too close. Unless your home. DPS uses rocks, in which case, you know, uh, just just watch, I guess. Everything is elements, <laughs> and everyone has an elemental skill and alignment. Unless you're the nature god who has no characters. Some are bad, and others <laughs> are very bad. But many are completely <laughs> game-changing, like how Beto's elemental skill adds a parry mechanic to the game, or how Ningguang invalidates all ranged enemies. The combat is definitely That's pretty strength, sick. I didn't know that. Experiment in how bad you can craft your psychotic dog water alchemy, and hopefully create a moving ball of destruction strong enough I want Kaching really god. bad, though. this concept, every character uses is one of five unique weapon classes, such as Mongolia, Controller Erosion, The Waiting Game, Egg Catapults, and The Speed Demon. So be careful with who you choose and what weapons that, oh wait, no, it's random, get fucked. Now, this would all be excellent <laughs> gameplay if it didn't sometimes amount to throwing two sponges at each other. Enemies scale to your level, and generally health is not hard to come by. So depending on your investment, some enemies could take minutes to kill. This all amounts to making a classic video game build. The also hitting too close to home. Useless. You don't need a tank because you will be switching. <laughs> what was that? Hey, God, hey, we gotta see that. You don't. To making a classic video game build, the tank entirely useless. It's okay if you like tanks, but I believe their non viability represents a slight balance problem that needs to be addressed. But if you like the utility that a tank provides, then I cannot stop you. Also, they are useful in the final abyss stages, but most players seeing this video are new and want advice relative to their experiences. Most strategies that you can dream up are viable, but generally I want to create an entertaining video while providing some real critique. But really, everything in this game can work fairly well for general gameplay. This also applies to a lot of the characters I say are bad, when really they aren't as generally applicable. Well put. Anyways, let's put them all in the trash now. You don't need a tank because you will be switching to your DPS anyways, who is a tank against your will. Health is literally always a shackle. <laughs> who is a, a tank curse. against that your is, will? Course, unless you're playing Barbara, whose healing scales only off of health, making her tankier than Tiet. <laughs> let's go over an example part <laughs> to give you some idea of the insanity that we're working for. Oh, it is optimal in most of my combat scenarios to cause forest fires by throwing a spicy bear. Why? Well, it's obvious. My DPS Beto can parry anything which includes the heat of fire or how about ningguang who spawns a wall inside of enemies like it's gary's mod we just do it to piss them off did i also mention you can invite your insane no, discord that's a classic video with you the combat is fully functional hello max I made a mistake, and this isn't even going into the complicated <laughs> system by which you customize artifacts, upgrade your weapon, and level your character's talents, because that's boring. It can be made especially boring when you have to pick 30 mushrooms to do it, but, you know, here we are. That leads me to my next point. You're gonna have to explore for those mushrooms. And that sounds bad, but it's actually the best part. Get ready for this some cross-country gaming. Exploration is amazing in this game. To cover. So rule number four of Genshin Impact is that if you see something, just go. 
See, everybody's always getting mad at me because I'm easily distracted. This game looks identical to Breath of the Wild. That's the right point of the game. The UI. This is an objectively correct assessment. It's just that the game doesn't give a shit, and neither should we. Breath of the Wild was so good that I wanted Breath of the Wild with more anime pussy. Because, Very true. God damn it! Why did Nintendo make Zelda yeah, look like that? Right the there. That's the one. Soldiers in this game suddenly. It, you literally saw that coming. Has the geography of fucking. And then you saw me coming. It's quite the vertical place, but you're given the tools to navigate it, like your feet or your sweat, and there is quite a bit to see. So, for an example, when I first installed the game, I didn't know that Leeway was in it. That's over half of the map. I was doing a quest that required a wild Fair. radish, so I naturally went hiking to find it and accidentally discovered the entirety of Ming Dynasty China, at which point I was That was the same for me. I accidentally ran into, into Leeway. This is one of those games where you start finding chests in the wild, and within 30 minutes... Do you guys remember that? When I did the stream, and it was started exploring Leeway for the first time, and then, then we opened it up, and I like... I already had like 80% of the teleport waypoints unlocked and the statues. I was like, so I, I came here on accident off stream one time. Anyways, are flying to a strange island with a man named Jeffrey. It's actually not that different. No, to Skyrim, no, but no. This game makes Skyrim look like it's in Kansas. There is always something to do and always something to find. You would think that it would get stale, but they just keep finding ways to turn on my neurons. There is a puzzle. I just wanted the chest, which spans an entire region of the game where you have to climb three mountains. You can spend an afternoon doing that, and it's yep. viable. There is yeah. no direction that, that was go, fun. That Somehow that challenge was fun. Way, and that's what's important about exploration it's not just pretty it's optimal you see the shit right here this activates the my fucking almonds exploring this game trains your neurons to fire at the most basic of incentives like a lab chimp but seriously if you aren't yet considering the game just have fun exploring it stop and smell the flowers and accidentally find china over a vegetable i found it eventually it it took three hours now, if the review had ended here this would be a definite recommend because the game is free it costs zero dollars it true. cannot yank your bank not that i would know but i must warn you that there are some serious drawbacks besides the fucking Chinese surveillance state that you have to install, so it's time to give you the final tools and rules that you need to enjoy this game. <laughs> the pain! <laughs> Not another ad! I can't even skip it. Daddy. What's going on, sweetie? This, did you guys know that this movie is actually about Hu Tao? Something's changing. Gula Numeris Quinque of Genshin Impact is just please God use the resin every day like you use the resin every day. So to explain that, you have to understand that this game works by mostly giving you what you want when you seek it out. Unless it's crit damage. So you don't end up mindlessly slogging for 10 hours a day for a single goddamn Warframe chassis. But there is a catch. When it comes to grinding, there is a clever way to make sure that you can't trivialize the entire game. Which is that the game just stops you. You expend resin when you kill a boss. Want Fair. money. Want XP. Want artifacts. Want to live. Want to see my daughter again. Pretty much anything. And if you have no resin, well... <laughs> wait. God will will collect his existence tax and you will fucking pay. Even if you live in Mondstadt, the IRS is an eternal fixture of the universe. And although it's nice to have fair guarantees for artifacts, it has the unique side effect of stopping the game from being played. You get 160 a day, and for reference, you spend 40 for boss loot, so good luck. And yeah. if you thought that was bad, get ready for rule 6, which is yeah, you, you gotta do the daily quests. We Genshin players are always hard at work on the daily dopamine farms, putting in that grind so that we can have a 4-star object every 20 days. It really makes a man oh. wonder why we bothered with making murder illegal in the first place. Thank you, Kane. This game can yeah, give you Kane. a lot if you decide to commit yourself to it. But Kill Timmy's birds. You will be scraping for crack crystals in a back alley. Maybe make a YouTube video. That alone is probably enough to discourage most people. I thought I was going to be one of those people until I realized that I liked the game. Stockholm Syndrome is actually cool. And yes. for a final rule, you don't want to play with English voices. Set it to literally any other language except English. Now, the voice work isn't horrendous, <laughs> but uh, it doesn't oh. sound like the Oh no, no, the voice work is actually really good in this game. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to insert a hard disagree. English voice in this game, fully voiced, actually very good. A lot of it is very, very good. Honest to God. Story mode when I'm doing the Archon quests and the story quests, English voices go on. I, I find it to be a uh, submissive. No, that's Fenty. Submersive. I, th I think the voice is actually very good. I'm just saying. You don't get to hear nearly as much moaning in English, but, you know, 
dialogue was actually written for English, and the translation is fucking hilarious. The wolves frighten him so badly that he's paralyzed with fear. <laughs> We've looked everywhere and haven't seen any of the wolves. So do what I do and play in Japanese, then switch the game to Chinese whenever you're in leeway for maximal immersion. This is John Cena. To liberate my country from the yoke of capitalism. Now that you're armed with what you need, should you play the game? Only if you have self-control. It's not worth it to spend money on the game. I'm serious, and that's why you should give me your money so I can spend it responsibly. Remember, True. the game is free, and so is the porn. I would like to thank the kind Chinese billionaires and international arms dealers of the Maxor Patreon for funding my hopeless and deadly addictions. <laughs> if you would like to help fund the videos corrupting America's youth in the name of Max Light Maoism, you can head to the description to learn more. Thank you all for watching and waiting, and of course, your IP address has already been traded. Good. That was amazing. That was amazing. That was actually incredible. I'm glad you guys talked me into watching that. I'm really glad you talked me into watching that. Because that was good. Mondstadt's God is nowhere to be seen, whilst our God is forever with us. Mm. Stay in Liyue. Religious warfare. Understood. Let's Given fight. You just left Because I got Mondstadt's city, God literally in my back pocket. You've experienced what it's like to be in a city whose God has walked with it through all of history. They, Li, Li Ling, I liked you at first, but you're a real bitch. You know that. In fact, you know what? I didn't want to have to do this. Cascade. Think twice next time.